Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Bulls Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it really is important and you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply just leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions you would like to contact me please do so. You can find all my information it may be contact list of readings whatever it is that you might need from me is most likely contained right below into the YouTube description box so please do check it out and uh, please do not hesitate it will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and greatly appreciated and I do Thank you so very much. I would also like to thank all of my beautiful subscribers for um, participating into the channel, for listening to the messages. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. I would also like to thank the uh, subscribers who have um, donated so generously to the channel. It is always a greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, uh, let's begin this reading. These are angelic messages. I'm going to start flipping them over as I'm going to continue to speak with you. Um, I'm going to give you the overall energy and then I'm going to go in detail within each of the cards to give you a little bit more in detail what is going on. Um, so I have the seven of wands, strength, seven of cups, and I have the moon. Right now what I'm seeing is a battle of the mind, a battle of the mind in the greatest of sorts. Um, there's opposition, okay? Uh, there's uh, the subconscious and the conscious that are uh, kind of battling themselves and you don't even really realize it. It's being caught up in your thoughts and needing that strength to get through it. Um, so something is very, very heavy right now. You have a great burden, may it be relationship-wise, may it be career. There is something that is bothering you and the angels, uh, the angels are going to try and help you out with this. So let's start this off. This is the overall energy of what is going on, okay? Something is definitely bothering you. I'm going to begin over here with the moon card and I'm going to show it up close like this so you can look at the details of it because it is really um, quite fascinating this deck. Um, so this is the moon. The moon comes out we'll say at night right? Yes we all know that I know but which is the other side of the day but the moon what I want to say about the moon is that it exposes things that are usually hidden or in the dark. Now, could this be something that's happening within your life right now? The water, the water that we see these animals in, um, they look like, um, I don't know, I was going to say some kind of werewolves, but there's all different kind of creatures here. Um, so the animals that are contained within this water here, um, the water represents the subconscious, so the illogical parts of your mind. And this is what's bothering you. These creatures, they're creepy little things and they're lurking in your mind. They represent primitive, uncontrollable, and mostly unknown parts of yourself. What are they doing? They are symbolizing your shadow self. It's the dark parts of your personality that are hard to accept, hard to be acknowledged even perhaps, I have to say. Um, this suggests some self-deception because it's difficult to admit that they are real. These scary critters also represent quite some fear. Now, this is about, as I was saying, feeling confused. It's about feeling distressed. It's about feeling uh, troubled. It's in a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, distor disturbed or maybe distorted thinking that might be irrational. It's about um, self-deception, delusions. Um, what the angels want you to tell want to tell you is that ignoring the cause of your anxiety right now is going to make your anxiety simply worse. You need to confront the darkness so that you may see what parts are real and what is a delusion or um, what is simply fantasy. So this is the message here coming from the moon. If we move on over, we're going to move on over to um, I think we're going to move on over to the Seven of Wands over here. Now the Seven of Wands, this lady, she is standing her ground as we could see, okay? Uh, this is pertaining to challenges, responsibility, it is personal development. This is about being strong, being tough, it's about not bending under pressure. And I'm talking at pressure because you can see all these wands here, that's opposition. This is representing having the conviction and having the confidence to defend yourself into your position. It's standing your ground. 
Okay, the swords here, they represent your convictions and your beliefs that are proudly worth defending. Now, the wands, as I was saying, they're opposition. They represent an attack and confrontation or a challenge. So what tools, what methods are you going to use to defend yourself? The angels are going to provide you great support. They're going to provide you, um, you know, the spiritual and the emotional support that is going to be necessary to um to uh, to get through this to strengthen your convictions because this is all about defending yourself and your position it's standing your ground standing up for what you believe there's going to be a challenge but this is about handling and not avoiding the conflict the angels may you always know to fight for and when it is right to fight for very important to make the distinct um, the difference between both of them and um, if we move on over to the seven of cups a beautiful card and if you look at the picture it pretty much says what it you know just by looking at it seven of cups is about being up in the clouds it's about thinking it's a lot of thoughts it's a challenges it's responsibility it's personal um you know development so we're coming in with the seven of wands over here but the clouds they stand for thoughts the cups they're pictured they're not real but they represent your emotional thoughts the different kind of cups they stand for the different type of options that you have right now your wishes, your impulses, your goals that you might have right now. So what's really important here is that, you know what, you have a variety of choices that are available to you. You have the opportunity to choose. This is about you envisioning the possibilities, the potential plans for your future. It's daydreaming. It's your creative thinking. Your angels want you to know that there's healthy illusions and they do provide hope. They provide motivation, especially during transitional periods. And healthy illusions, on the other hand, there are misleading thoughts that lead to a bad decision that can harm both yourself and others. So let's move on over to your final card. And your final message over here is about the strength. This is really about you having that strength. Um, Zad Zadkiel that we see here is known as the angel of mercy and helps people become more compassionate, more forgiving towards others. The lion here, what is a lion? It's very strong, right? So the lion is indicating strength um, and courage. And this is what you need to do. Okay, this is what you must have within you and your subconscious desires you to have that courage, to have that strength. It's about having the inner strength. It's about that quiet courage. It's about that compassion. It's about having patience. Okay, it's the ability to control a situation without um, overt um, force or even any type of aggression. The an angels want to tell you here that you need to take care not to confuse the strength of compassion with the weakness of sentimentality. And this does conclude your reading with the angels. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that um, the angels brought you some messages that resonate that will be able to um, assist you in some decision making. If you have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. All my information, as usual, right below into the YouTube description box. If you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto the subscribe button and have yourself a beautiful day. I thank you for being there. I will be seeing you tomorrow with new messages.